could you clarify some of your comments yesterday with regard to uh, strikes on uh, Iranian oil facilities? Uh, what did you mean by them, given some of the reactions we're seeing in the market? Well, look, the Israelis have not concluded how they're, what they're going to do in terms of a strike. That's under discussion. I think there are, if, if I were in their shoes, I'd be thinking about other alternatives than striking oil fields. Do you agree, do you have any worries that Netanyahu may be trying to influence the election and that's why he has not agreed to a diplomatic solution? No administration has helped Israel more than I have. None. 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 And I think uh, Bibi should remember that. And uh, whether he's trying to influence the election or not, I don't know, but I'm not counting on that. You've said many times recently that you want to speak to him, that you plan no, to. No, I didn't say plan to. I didn't say want to. You don't want to? No, I didn't say that. You're making it sound like I'm seeking and then uh, speaking. <laughs> I'm assuming when they make the decision how they're going to respond, we will then have a discussion. What are you advising the Israelis to do in terms of their retaliation to Iran? And at this point, you still haven't spoken to Netanyahu. Is it fair to say that you have little personal influence over what he decides to do? No. Look, our, our teams are in contact 12 hours a day. They're constantly in contact. I've already had my presidential daily brief. We've already had an inter interface between our military, our the diplomats. It's in constant contact. They are trying to figure out. This is high holidays as well. They're not going to make a decision immediately, and uh, so we're going to wait to see what they, when they want to talk. What I know is the plan that I put together received the support of the UN Security Council, the vast majority of our allies around the world, as a way to bring this to an end. One of, look, the Israelis have every right to respond to uh, the vicious attacks on them not just from the Iranians, but from the, everyone from Hezbollah to Houthis to, anyway. And, uh, but the fact is that um, they have to be very much more careful about dealing with civilian casualties. So how should they respond? You expressed concerns about attacks on Iranian oil facilities. How should they respond? That's between me and them. All right, we've got to move on. Go ahead, Tam. The election is a month away. One, I'd like to know how you're feeling about how this election is going, and then also, do you have confidence that it will be a free and fair election and that it will be peaceful? Two separate questions. Very much. I'm confident it will be free and fair. I don't know whether it will be peaceful. The things that Trump has said and the things that he said last time out when he didn't like the outcome of the election were very dangerous. Uh, if you notice, uh, I, I noticed that the vice presidential Republican candidate did not say he'd accept the outcome of the election. They haven't even accepted the outcome of the last election. So uh, I have, I, I, I'm concerned about what, the, what they're going to do. Are you making any preparations, getting security briefings related to <coughs> domestic security? I always get those briefings.